Hey folks, it's Fritka here, how you doing? I am just going to test our beautiful bright green and red and purple car um, because I've made some alterations to it and hopefully this time it does actually reach the full 200 miles an hour. As you can see, we got a little bit more oomph on this one today. So before we go much further, my question for this week, I'm not actually doing a poll this week. What I'm asking for is some suggestions for things that we can do. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. We're going to go back to carrying on our harvest in a minute. Um, but we're just going to go. Yes, this is going to be absolutely wonderful. We're going to head over to the gorges first. And we're going to just test out. This thing is seriously souped up. I'm, I'm, ser I'm actually struggling to go slowly with this. I'm genuinely struggling to go slowly with this. Um, that tractor there. That Do uh, the Zeta tractor rather. Uh, we used that one to cultivate the big field over there and it went and it went and it went and it went for like 30 plus episodes and it took ages to do it and we just we just put it going at the beginning of every episode and just let it chug up and down. So I want some suggestions of things that we can do like that, similar things that we can do over on the Broadacres map, the 16 times Australian map that we're going to be going to after we finish this series. Now if you haven't taken a look at it yet, Go and just look through my videos from the last couple of days and I've done a first look at the 16 times map Broadacres set in Australia. It's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful and it's very, very like real life. I've already had people commenting on it saying that they live in that area and it is very much like... Um, you know, the actual real life area. It's, it's a very realistic looking map. It looks absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. So get over and take a look at that map and then come back here and give me some suggestions of things you'd like me to do. I'm not talking about the big scale stuff first. I want to know a couple of small scale things, little projects that we're going to put going on that map. So get into the comment section. Let us know what you want and why. And this time you can't actually um, cast a vote or anything like that. But I do want to hear your suggestions. So that's what we're doing this week. Now, we're going to take this one over to the gorges. And I'm just going to go and try and get full. Look. Okay, this is fantastic. <laughs> it's properly flying. I really souped up the engine on it. I, it, it had a potential for a top speed already that was much higher than um, originally planned. But this time what I've done is I've gone through and I've tweaked the torque on the motor on it. That's the bit that I forgot to do last time. Uh, well, I did actually tweak it. I just didn't tweak it enough. And that's kind of the key to altering a mod for real speed and power is you've got to alter the torque on the actual engine of the motor. And ooh. <laughs> okay, that was an absolute appalling failure, that was. Um, right, that's not going anywhere. But at least we haven't actually lost it just yet. So let's... Uh, which, oh, I know where we can go. I know where we can go. If we go F11, over near here, there was actually a ramp kind of place. If we just drop it down close. Oops, a little bit too close. And we can just then... There was a point along here that we could use. And it was actually right here. I know I did actually put sugar beet down onto that bit, which made it um, a little bit more... Um, it, it, it would give you a little bit more sort of hang time in the air as you went up over it but if we whiz around here and we get lined up just right and we can go through now if yesterday's video was a little bit laggy I do apologize um, I forgot to actually turn down the graphic settings on this one before I started yesterday's video and as many of you know by now unless I I've got a very powerful system I've got a very powerful computer and I'm able to run most things at a full 60 frames but this map gives me some serious lag on the video, on the recording. Um, so I need to dial it down to... Ooh, okay, that didn't work very well. That's going to go... No, don't go in the water! Oh. Okay, it's gone in the water. Um, this map actually gave me some quite bad lag on the, um, on the recordings. So let's just reset that one. And so what I was having to do was I was having to dial it back to medium settings. And then I was able to do it. I was getting some frame rate drop be, um, with it as well, but I wasn't getting a massive amount of frame rate drop. 
I was just getting lag on the recording. So if yesterday was laggy, I really do apologize. I forgot to dial it down. I have set it back onto medium settings today, so hopefully you won't get any lag um, feeding back through on the recording. Now, let's see if we can find somewhere that we can launch this. Oh, there's a spot. There's a spot. If, if we can actually get... No, I can't get to it. This thing's so powerful. It's literally... It's, it's trying to spend most of its time airborne at the moment. And let's go that way. We're going to head over here. And we get over there. Is that going to give us anything? That's, that's disappointing, to be honest. But that's the bit that we were looking at yesterday is just here. But I got a feeling that it's not actually going to work very well. I think it's going to launch itself off the, the lip of it there. Maybe if we head over to the end, we may be able to get something out of this. I think it's just, I think it's going to be a little bit too steep of a drop, so the actual car is just going to go airborne before it hits the ramp, instead of uh, dropping down. It's not going to work right there. See, it's going airborne there, slows it down too much, and then it just drives into that bit. That's not very good. But, uh, I thought physics was going to come and help us out. The, the game physics was going to help us out, but it didn't. It failed us once again. Let's go to here and reset. Yes. Okay. Back out again. Okay, let's try this once more. Maybe not the gorge. We'll just go for a little bit of a spin and see where we can... Um, maybe there's somewhere else we can jump. There's, there's di these different places on the gorge, but uh, there's got to be some other places as well. We just, just try if we... No, we're not going to get over the fence there. There's no ramp sort of in front of the fence. <laughs> this thing's fantastic. It really is. The speed, I mean, it's still not wanting to do much more than 150. Oh, no, it was going higher there. I think possibly part of the thing that's holding it back at the moment is the fact that it's not staying on the ground long enough to build up speed. It's actually, because it's spending so much time in the air, it's not able to accelerate properly. So, I'll tell you what, let's go all the way down to the end of this, and then, if we, if we can, and then we'll get onto the road, and we'll drive up the road. Because, you know, it does actually slow down. What's it... If it stays in if it stays in the air, it's slowing down. If it stays on the ground, it speeds up. It doesn't really make much sense, that. But, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's doing. I'm also struggling to control it. I'm not really doing very much at all about controlling it. I'm just kind of praying. That The prayer seems to be quite useful for this thing. I'm guessing this is how a uh, Formula One driver feels. He, he, he doesn't really have... Formula One drivers don't really have a huge amount of skill. It's mostly just prayer. They're hoping that the big guy in the sky is going to listen to something that they've got to say and... <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's, that's not true. I know for a fact that Formula One drivers have a huge amount of skill. Look, 200 miles an hour. We are actually doing 200 miles an hour. Can we maintain this all the way down to the other road? Go on, we can do this. Okay, now this is straight. We shouldn't have too much trouble maintaining it along the straight. 200 miles an hour. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I'm quite impressed with this. I could have been, I could have done with this yesterday uh, in the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wipe out. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Okay, we need to do serious things now. We need to go and get on with the harvest. So let's just reset that car again so it's not in the way of the combines. And reset. There we go. Right. We want to go back through. So we've got a combine over here. I've got several combines all sort of lined up. We'll go and get these fired up. I'm going to knock... I'm going to try and edit the sound down a little bit because I think these are a little bit too noisy, to be fair. Um, they're a lot noisier than the normal combines. So I have tweaked these ever so slightly. So let's just see how the tweaking has uh, paid off because I haven't tested this either. I wanted this to be as much a surprise for me as it was for you. I don't like the way that these things are still sort of quite bouncy on the ground. Now, is it going to be able to... Okay, the speed is increasing quite nicely. But he's still only doing 14 miles an hour. I thought I'd increased it beyond that. Well, it says 14 miles an hour, but I'm pretty sure that is actually... You know what? That might not be faster than 14 miles an hour. I could have sworn that I'd increase the limit. Oh, I wonder if the AI is limited on the speed it can do. I mean, you can't control, you can't alter the speed that the AI does. It's not actually possible. Um, it's saying, for, yeah, 14 is actually, I think, the limit that it will allow it. So let me just go the other way and we'll go on to this one. And I do actually have a higher top speed on it now. The top speed on the actual combine is now 93 miles an hour. 
uh, because you know why not um, so let's just start this one up and see what speed I can get out of it okay it goes a lot faster for me so there is obviously somewhere a setting that allows you to alter what the AI can do because I can combine a lot faster <laughs> oh this is fantastic <laughs> brilliant okay so I can go a lot faster than the AI why the AI is only doing 14 miles an hour I don't really know it's gathered up all of the straw for that little um, run is, it, is the vehicle extension thing holding it back or what because that's that's not going the speed that I was just now that's, that's lit, that is just limiting itself I mean this bit here I could actually do this without using the AI vehicle extension let me try that a moment let me just stop if I just back up a little bit there and I go control H and put that down to normal and then try it okay right now that's <laughs> I see <laughs> it does, it's not actually cutting properly it's so fast now that it doesn't actually cut properly so it's probably a, a good thing that the um, the, the AI vehicle extension is a little bit more sensible and slows it down a bit because it's ridiculous Okay, let's just see what it does going back the other way now and then I, I think I will re-engage the um, the AI vehicle extension because yeah <laughs> oh that's fantastic <laughs> that's, that's absolutely brilliant that is that is absolutely made my day that has that's absolutely awesome oh, I love it Okay, so we know that 50 miles an hour is a little bit too fast for the poor combines to cope with. Um, so if we just do Control H and we'll go back to the a a a AI vehicle extension and we'll let that one do a little... I'll tell you what though, if, if we go to the settings, does it have a speed limit on here? Does it, does it have, have any settings like that? You've got a headland that you can set. You know, I've never actually tried using the headland. I might do that in a minute. Just see what it does. Okay, so we go back out of there and that's all good. So let's just start this one up and let it do things a little more sensibly. So there does appear to be a good reason that it limits it to 14 miles an hour. And that is the AI vehicle extension and not the actual um, AI itself. So this is kind of the limit that the AI vehicle extension is going to allow us to combine at. That's actually okay. I'm, I'm quite okay with that because we're going to get a few more combines running anyway and we'll sort of run it like that it's going to come in okay so he's doing a grand job this one over here is doing an excellent job as well so we can go and get a couple others going we'll go back through let's go and get this one. Oh, actually i've got a couple in the there's one there in the field that one can get started so we'll start this one up and the first thing that we do need to do is we need to go to settings and we need to change the turn angle up to 100% so it will allow it to turn more before it stops and lifts out of the ground. And everything else... No, I'm not going to put the... Um, I'm not going to put the headland on this field. This field has actually got a gap in the middle of it, I think. Is it this one? Let me just um, make it... A, no, I don't want to do that one. I want to go to escape and... Where are we? I don't actually know which combine I'm on at the moment. Is it that one? No, it's not that one. I'm down here out the bottom of the map, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm over here. I'm down here out the bottom of the map, down in the bottom corner. And you can't actually see me because it's just a little bit too far away. So let me unfold it. Press over there and unfold the actual combine. And we're away. That's all we got to do. So we can start that one up and it'll go into the field. This is quite a big field. It's going to take a little while for the combine to get round it. I'll let it measure the field a minute. And I am thinking I might try and do this myself, just for a first run around the field. So let me just press H. We keep it going. And maybe I won't do it uh, completely full speed. I'll do it nearly full speed. <laughs> okay, this is actually really cool. 
because it's, it's difficult to control it going at this kind of speed but it's also a lot of fun it really is i highly recommend this to all of you no 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 oh dear as you may have guessed that cry of horror was in fact my game crashing and it's gonna crash again i hope it doesn't crash again i really do so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's because I was trying to combine absolutely full tilt and do it manually. So, we're going to assume that combining too fast does actually cause major issues for your combine. And it doesn't like it. So, we're not going to do that again. We're not going to combine full tilt. We're just going to let the hired help do it. And it's, we're going to let the AI hired help do it. And I think I may go back and tweak the combine just down a little bit. I reckon it's because of the amount, the sheer quantity of stuff that was going into the combine when I was trying to do it myself, and it, it just didn't like it. So, yeah, lesson to be learned there. It is possible to completely crash your game if you do things too fast. I, I mean, it, it might not have been that. It might have been something else entirely, but this is my sneaky suspicion that it was actually something to do with that because it was okay up to that point, and it just stopped. I mean, it came up and it said I had an error come up again okay that was twice so and and that crashed pretty quickly i have a suspicion about what it was i'm not quite sure yet but i'm just going to start this one up and i'm going to follow this combine a minute and see if there's anything to do with this and the speed um, although actually the other one this one's going in the opposite direction so no it's not what i was thinking originally it it's either got to be something to do with the hired help or something to do with trying to combine along the bottom edge of that map because it's only when i put the combine down there that it's done it or it's to do with this combine just this combine by itself so I'm just going to watch this combine a moment just to see if this one's going to do anything. And this is this is kind of one of the things that goes hand in hand with a serious like we're we're really altering mods on this map. We're we're really pushing the boundaries of what the game is capable of doing. So crashes are inevitable. The kind of stuff that we do on this series, we're going to get crashes turning up here and there. And it might be, I, I mean, I can't imagine it's the straw because we've had a lot more straw down on the map than we have right now. So I can't imagine that it would be that. And the amount, this one's going through and... I mean, the amount of time that it's taken to get to this point, it's possible that it happened while this combine here was going along the top side and was going to do the, the road. Do you remember in yesterday's episode, both the combines, there was one each side of the fence right here, and they both stopped. They were both sort of reading each other, and they didn't like it, they wouldn't go any further. I don't know if it's something to do, it might be something to do with that. That could have something to do with it. So it could be this, uh, like an invisible collision or something on this combine that we don't actually know about, and it's coming round, and that's getting interfered with, with the cars. So, I mean, I just wanted to see what's going to happen with this one going along the top with cars nearby that one seems to be okay so it doesn't seem to be any issue there with that one no problems so we're going to leave that combine to run i'm not going to put this one going actually you know what i'm very tempted i'm very tempted to just say you know what let's go for it but i'm not going to no we're going to flick through our machinery now and we are going to go down to our other combines we've got four other combines there we go so we're going to take one of these actually if i go uh, I've got to go all the other stuff there. So let me just grab any one of these. So we will grab this one. And I'm going to teleport this one down to that field down at the bottom. We, it's Twice it's crashed on that field there. So this is going to be the test. If we put this one down there and then we set the hired help going, is it going to crash it again? This might be it. So I'm, I'm going to move it down there. I'm not actually going to put it going yet. I'll put that going at the end of the episode and we can see if it crashes it or not. Just to, to sort of wrap it up. And it'll give us an indication if we can actually do that in future. So uh, I've got the big map. I need to press F11. Better if the combine harvester is empty. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it folds it up when it gets down there. We're loaded up with wheat. And so first of all, we need to empty this thing out. We've got to empty this bad boy out. 
Uh, a shop. No, it's up here. It's, it's not far from here. So I want to drop it. I reckon if I drop it there, that should be about right. Just slide around a little bit. That should be fine. Start this one up. And... Right, I want to try to get this one to tip out in there. I mean, I could always just tip the pile of grain on the floor. I don't think I need to. I wanted to try to get it to tip in... Oh, a problem. That's the problem. They are um, covered over, aren't they? So let's move this one over like this. And if I unhitch that one there, then bring this combine over... We didn't alter the speed very much on these combines. So what I want to do is I need to unfold the combine. If it'll let me. I want to put that auger out, but it's not it's not letting me it's not letting me fold or unfold it, which is not very convenient. Can I Oh, it's going to it's going to do it anyway like that. It doesn't like the fact that the combine is folded up while it's got stuff in it. So once we've emptied it out, it should work a little bit better. Right, that's all emptied out now. So now, is it going to let me do it? Now it's working. There we go. Right, and then I'll fold it back up again. Right, that's much better. So now we can bring this one over. And we're going to take this one right down to the bottom end of the map. And to the exact point where we were when it crashed. So the first time it crashed, it was down here. And it was going along the bottom edge of the map. And the second time I put it there and it crashed while it was over there. So it's something along the bottom edge. So I'm going to drop this one down here. And we'll test it. If it does it with this one, because I haven't really altered very much other than the actual, just, just the scale of this one. I haven't altered anything else on it. And we can unfold that one. And I'll also unfold that header. Beautiful 90 foot header that we've got. Let me bring this one over. So far, so good. So far, it's not crashed at all. We've not had any issues. So we can bring this one round, swing it through. I got a feeling it's because it was close to the edge of the map. I reckon it's something to do with that rather than the actual combine. I mean, that one is working okay over there. So let's just flick through our machinery now and we go to our other combine. We're going to start this one up and see if we can run two of them for a little while. So my question for this week, I want suggestions of things that we can do over on the Australian map. I want suggestions of projects that we can start right at the beginning of the series that we will run for the duration of the series. Now, I did originally say I was only going to do like 20 episodes on this map, but so many of you said, no, don't stop at 20, keep going and do a longer series. I may very well end up doing 40 or 50 episodes on the Australian map. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll wait and see. But that's kind of how I'm looking at it right now, is we could very well end up doing that kind of quantity of episodes. Um, so whatever project we start at the beginning is going to have a nice long while to sort of run through. It's got to be something that can be done with the standard game AI. It's not going to be something that's going to be done with anything else. I don't want to use the AI vehicle extension on a project because that does introduce lag into the map. Any map that you play when it's trying to calculate turns and corners and stuff like that. So we don't want the AI vehicle extension. It's going to be standard AI jobs. And so it, it's not something like going and me physically cutting down all the trees. That's, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not doing that realistic or unrealistic. Unless I can find a mob that will literally just go up to the tree and mulch the thing instantly. I mean, technically, yes, there is a mob that already does that, which... We could go and have a little bit of fun with. We could just sort of drive around the map just shredding hundreds of thousands of trees. I might need to alter the mod a little bit so that it throws the wood chips out a bit faster. But then we could encounter some major, major lag issues with um, things going wrong with that. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's all. The, I'm so looking forward to getting onto that map. I really am. I, I had a taste of it, just a taste while I was looking around, and I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be so much fun. It really is. I really can't wait. 30th of November. That's when it's. That's when we're starting that series because we got the Platinum DLC coming out on. The, I think it's the 14th of November. So we're doing two weeks of unrealistic gameplay on that map following this series. So that's on. That starts a couple days later like the 16th I think it's the 16th that we start doing that and so I'll do two weeks of unrealistic gameplay on the platinum DLC South American map uh, while we just play with the sugarcane and stuff like that so I will be doing a realistic series on there 
Um, and then we'll do the unrealistic stuff as well, just because it's going to be fun to sort of push the boundaries of what we could do on that map with a shoot cane and everything. Else. You, you know you want to. You know you want to. So stop trying to say that you don't. <laughs> it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. So we're going to do that, and then we go to the Australian map, which will be, if my calculations are correct, the 30th of November is going to be day one. It's going to be episode one on the 30th of November. So this is the series. The Australian one is the series that will run over Christmas. That's what we'll be doing. Um. So yeah what you've, you've got plenty of time now to sort of think of different things that we could do for that and i want some suggestions in particular i want them this week and i'll read a few of them out next week and we'll sort of see um what ideas we might go with right so far this seems to be working everything seems to be okay there's no issues have come up we've got these two combines going this one's going really well i really like the idea of doing a whole load of this with the um the small combines so Right, that's a little better. I was getting a bit croaky. And I really like the idea of doing a lot of the harvest with the small combines. But if it's not going to work, if it's going to cause game crashes, we can't do it. We're going to have to figure out something else. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I'm saying fairly well now, and then I will start the combine up. And so we can see if it crashes or not. So we, we know if it was the class dominator doing something along the bottom of this map or if it's actually um, anything along the bottom of this map. Because I was physically driving it the first time it happened and the second time we put the AI vehicle extension going and that crashed it. It might be three dominators on the map is causing it. So th there's a whole host of different things that it could be that we don't actually know at the moment. So we're, we're going to look at this. So yeah. Let me just start this one up, um, start you up, you're unfolded, you're ready to go, and everything's okay at the moment. Okay, so far nothing has gone wrong, seems to be good. So, uh, <laughs> I'm really nervous, I don't really want to start this, it's, um, I, don't, I don't want it to crash again, I really, I really don't, I just, I want, I'm willing for this to work, I really am. I'm going to inch it forward a bit, I'm going to inch it forward a bit. Um, okay, we're going to go for it. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later. That's just in case this doesn't work. So I've said goodbye. Now we're going to start. And I'm going to go into there. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to press H. I'm going to let it scan. And then it's going to run, I hope, in your own time. And we're going to watch this one just trot itself along bottom edge of the map is it going to work or is it going to give me another crash and so far it's working i mean it was a little way up that i was Ooh. okay i think I, i'd gone a fair way i think by that point hadn't i because of the speed of the, the speed of the last combat this one's a lot more sedate isn't it it's a lot more steady it's a lot more it's a lot slower maybe this maybe this is the key maybe this is kind of the thing that we need to be paying attention to is um the speed that it's going which is you know a, a little bit more sensible than you would normally have um or th than we've had with uh, th those other combines this is a little bit more realistic this is more more what it's supposed to be and i'm pretty sure i hadn't gotten this far when it crashed you know, I'm starting to think that maybe it was the Dominator. We'll have to run a test in a minute. Actually, no, we'll have to do that next time because I really have finished. Um, right, so, yeah, it, it could be three Dominators. We will try a third Dominator elsewhere on the map in our next episode. And see if that <laughs> see if that does anything. I'm I'm really I'm I'm really nervous. I, I'm genuinely nervous. I, I shouldn't be. It's just a crash, and it doesn't actually lose my filming because the uh, the filming software, the recording software that I use, has got crash protection on it, so it automatically saves the video file even if the game exits. And so I don't get any issues with that. I used to, but he's since improved the quality of his software, and it's it's perfect. I never have any problems with that and well, well it, it seems to be fine it, it doesn't seem to be any problems at all it's, it's just ticking along quite nicely 
Okay, that really is it. So once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.